Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome back to Vamp Play. Nope, wrong channel. But if you guys want to check out my other channel, Vamp Plays, where I, you know, play all kinds of different games. I'm currently obsessed with a game called Raid Shadow Legends. I play other games too. Check it out. I'll put a card top right hand, click the I like usual as well as the link in the description below. And now that we're done with the shameless motion, let's get into the video, which today's video is I'm going to be on Kubo weapons. As you can see, I have two Kubo weapons here. I would have a Kubo melee, but they don't make Kubo melee at this time. That would be cool though, wouldn't it? But anyway, let's go into Kubo weapons, why they're so, you know, valuable per se. They're valuable on two senses, two levels, two different levels, and I'll get into that. And then I'll also show you guys how you can acquire your own Kubo weapon and as a bonus, I have a question for you guys involving Kubo weapons and involving Basically, the state of Warframe overall. Okay. So, let's get into the Kuba weapon. Why they're valuable. They're valuable on two fronts. I actually did a video with a build for this weapon. Right here, the pistol, the Kuba Seer. Um, I'll post the card. There will be a card top right hand corner with a video I did of it. Well, anyway, this is heat corrosive, and if we can actually look at the regular seer for comparison, okay, PQRS, I know my ABCs, guys, I swear, I swear I do, okay, here we go, the seer, previa, as you can see, the base here doesn't do corrosive at all, nor does the base here do heat. Now, heat didn't show up in that preview, as you can see. I don't know why. Don't ask me. And corrosive, I don't even know where corrosive came from. I thought I was only getting heat, but hey, I'm not complaining. The game wanted to give me corrosive. But, and that's the first unique thing of the weapon. That's the first goodness of this weapon. The second level I mentioned has to do with when you go into your profile. Mastery rank. Okay, so I'll be honest, I don't know for sure if they're in here yet. So I will have to... Um, Oh man, am I miss I'm missing I'm missing two frames? What I'm missing Atlas Prime of course, but what else am I missing? Hold on, hold on. Very important guys see this. I'm missing Atlas Prime, but I mean Ibarra Prime hasn't come out yet. It was announced but yeah, I don't know why is it saying sixty eight. Okay. Oh, I didn't fully level up Wukong Prime. Okay, that's why. Okay. Okay. Mystery up. Let's go back to the video. I'm not cutting that out either. But point to you guys who stuck around. Okay. So let's go with the... Kuba Seer. It should be in K. Kuba Black. Kuba... Kuba, Bestai, Kuba Sia. And the thing about the Kuba Sia, it goes up to 40. Goes up to level 40. All the Kuba weapons go up to a max level of 40. So none of that 30, they are all rank 40. So all of them are going to be rank 40, but 
that special thing in order to get to that rank 40 that they are you have to put five former into each of them for them to be bumped up to 40. And how you get one, I did say I'd mention how you get one. So how you get one is simply you get a Kuba Lich, okay? That's each Kuba Lich drops a weapon. Sometimes you could get a duplicate weapon option, but each Kuba Lich will drop a weapon. And unfortunately, that will hit your wallet a little bit. If you're like me and you want to catch them all, I mean, <clears throat> get them all. I mean, you totally can, of course, get them all. Two um, weapon slots for 12 platinum, not too bad. And then the, the whole night wave aspect, if you do do night wave, I believe in the first three ranks, there were two weapon slots. So that's definitely a possibility there for you to do. So don't worry, it's not like completely lawless, optionless. You do have some options. You can also rank it all the way up and delete it. But that in lies is one of my questions to you guys. Not the big one, but one of them. What do you guys think of the Kuba weapon? I mean, okay, because you guys, you guys put five, you know, former in them to get them up to rank 60. But then, I mean rank 40, I don't know why it said 60. But then you wouldn't want to delete it, right? Because you put in all that time, all those former. So, you wouldn't want to just delete it to make space, right? So that means, and I believe there are currently 10 Kuba weapons. I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me. There are 10 or 11, somewhere around there. And I predict there'll be more on the way. So let's see, you'll get two slots for every 12. So 12 times five, that would be 60, right? So. So that means, wait, is it 60? Okay, so 12 times 5, plus times 2 is 10. Ooh, ha, I know stuff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic. So you would have to spend 60, roughly around 60 platinum to get all of the, be able to keep all the Kuba weapons and at least five former on each Kuba weapon. Ooh, that's a lot of former. That's like, what, 50 former, somewhere like that? Wow, that's, that's even, wow, <laughs> okay. That's a lot of former. I better get former for me. Okay. So, we established that how much you'd have to spend now. Now comes the big question I have for you guys. For you guys that stuck it out to this point, I appreciate you guys. Um, okay, so my question to you guys is, what do you guys think of weapons that cost five formats? Um, basically, you guys invest five formats in them, but you can get them to level 60. And then once you get to, I mean, not 60. Why do I keep saying 60? You can get them to 40. And once you get them to 40, you can either use them or just they collect dust. And it looks like from something DE insinuated. It looks like there will be more versions of the, I presume there will be a version for each faction. So like, you know, Kuba weapons or Grenier things, maybe for Corpus, there will be credit weapons, you know, like the credit Amplex. Ooh, the credit Amplex. I can't wait. And then we also have like the Seer. If it ever gets a prime, 
Will the Prime be better than the Koopa version? And would that like negate all the former I've spent? You know, getting up the Koopa Seer and you know, just simple things like that. And do you like the idea of rank 40 weapons to begin with? Do you think eventually it's going to break the game and it's just like a simple cop out on DE's end because they thought their game was only going to get to rank 30 and then this is their um, cheap and easy fix to rank 30, you know. Oh, let's reload these weapons, make it up to rank 40. Oh, what do you guys think? I want to know your guys' opinion. Now, my opinion on the former thing, I'll be honest, I think it's kind of a lot of former, an insane amount of former. I mean, I've been playing this game for over three years, and I don't even, well over three years, actually, and I don't even have, like, a stack stack of former. But then again, I don't actively farm former. I don't actively farm a lot, honestly. Maybe I should get back on that. Maybe during one of my streams, link in the description below, um, I would just do like an active farming session where I just actively farm stuff. Be it actively farming former or actively farming this or that or this or that. Ooh, and I don't know. That. Do I have a... No. You know what? I need to make a greater lens. No, oh, I need a, uh, I need a, uh, okay, so a Lua lens takes an Eidolon lens. Ah, Madurai, Madurai. Madurai's the uh, Eidolon, right? Okay, I'm getting off topic here. Okay, so anyway, yeah, that's what I need to know. I need to know what I want to know, rather. What you guys think the state of Warframe, the state of these Koopa weapons, the 60 Platinum you'd have to spend roughly to collect them all, the 50 former, if it's 10, if it's 11, then that's 55, and that's a bit more Platinum as well. So. You know, definitely let me know what you guys think. Or do you guys think all of this is ridiculous and you're not even participating in it because, um, you know, you're uh, a, a new player and there's no way that you're going to be able to reasonably fight for something right away or even have enough weapon slots for it because I know fully free to play players, it's a little harder sometimes to get weapon slots. I know trading is in the game before you guys leave that in the comment section below. But me, as a new player, I barely knew trading chat even existed. And even now, I did not go into tra tra trading chat. Some people are so rude. You have no idea. If I go into trade chat, it's usually Oh, I want this. I'll give you a hundred platinum. Oh, you say I uh, tell me well fifty platinum. I want to take a hundred platinum. I'm also the same with reverse anyway. Okay, but with that said, I'll catch you guys in a future video. Sorry, this video went off track a bit. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys feel free to share your opinions with me in the comment section below. And if you guys liked the video, hit that like button, smash that, wait, punch that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just all messed up today. Tomorrow is actually my birthday, so I'm, you know, I'm kind of in like birthday mode already, I guess you could say. I don't know. But anyway, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the future. Later.